May this Jesus by the strength in order for all of us to grasp the message of the Word of God for this Sunday celebration. I would like to uh, summarize first from the first reading taken from the Book of Wisdom. The Word of God assures that God cannot be held responsible for bad things in life, in particular for death, right? Because what God did, God created all good things. And also from the book of wisdom, we learn that the God from man to be imperishable, the image of his own nature, he made him. But by the envy of the devil, death entered the world. And they who belong to his company, experience said, very clear. So if we belong to God, no reason for us to be afraid of death. And for us Christians, my dear sister brothers, this is not an end, but a, a, a new door open to new life. We go back to our true home in heaven. Yes. And uh, from the second reading, taken from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, St. Paul says, Anyone among us who has received the blessings from God abundantly, we should share God's blessings with our sister brothers who are less fortunate. Than we, right? This is the, an act of charity, and all of us Christians are supposed to understand this and to put this teaching into everyday practice. A spiritual sharing is very, very Christian. If we are too selfish, we should be ashamed. Of being called Christian, right? because Saint Paul said, "Look at Jesus, right? Though he was rich, son of God and God Himself, for our sake he became poor, so that by his poverty all of us might become rich." Rich, not in terms of material, of money, but in terms of graces, a blessing of being children of God right? and the heirs of life eternal in God's kingdom. Okay? And finally, in the gospel story, we can see how powerful our Lord Jesus Christ in healing the sick and even in raising the dead, right? So we put all our trust in Him and we will see miracles happen in our everyday life. Believe me, my sister, that if we have our faith strong enough, we will see everyday miracles happening in our life, in our relationship with God and with others. Amen.